Speaking of surviving the pandemic, you might not think a couple of hundred dollars could make or break a business. But as KSL consumer investigator Matt Gephardt reports, it can for a lot of really small businesses who may not know there's help available. Yeah, now if you get right in the middle of those two. Robbie Priest runs Salt City Roller Segway Tours. And he says for the first five years, business was great. Business was growing on average about 30-40% every season. But when COVID-19 rolled into town, Salt City Rollers got hit hard. If I think about uh, by two months ago, I think my business bank account had something like $28 in it. That's tough. Robbie says he thought he had zero chance of getting a paycheck protection program loan to keep Salt City Rollers, well, rolling. After all, he's a sole proprietor. It is just him. But then word about nonprofit lender MoFi reached Robbie. So he applied for one of those PPP loans through them. Within a week, I was approved. And I'm not going to say that I don't have any worries at all now, but it's just a massive weight off my shoulders. One of the things that we are trying to do is make sure that every small business that needs or wants a PPP has access. Dave Glazer runs MoFi, and by small, he means even the tiniest of businesses. The smallest PPP loan that we've made in Utah thus far is $390. The largest loan in Utah so far, $26,000, Glazer says. The average is about 16 grand. It's so important that all, all these small businesses realize that they're eligible because this is something that's going to help them get through the other side and not have to pay back. You'll remember last year, some big businesses swept in and snatched up most of that PPP money, leaving very little left for the little guys. Not this time. Between now and March 10th, only small businesses are eligible to get PPP money, even if the business is so small that the money just goes to pay one person's salary. And as long as business owners like Robbie follow the rules, those loans are 100% forgivable. It's actually incredibly motivating for uh, a promising future. In Salt Lake City, Matt Gephardt, KSL 5 News.